What's up, my people? It's your girl, ladies and gentlemen. Nigeria celebrated its 60th Independence Day by arresting young people for protesting and asking for better governance. Ah, there is nothing like freedom. We are in a cocoon. People are being killed on a daily basis. Genocide is in the increase. The military are not doing anything about it. As you can see, they don't want us, they don't want anybody to hear that. They are using authority to threaten us. We have been forced to stop this protest. As you can see, they are using authority to stop us from expressing our rights. Father, ah, you see, can you imagine, ah, Mr. President, <laughs> you have no shame, as in your eyes are not pushing you. Or simply, a senior advocate is our vice president, Mr. Vice President. If you are not advocating for young people, who are you advocating for? Ah, my special greetings, by the way, to the police, the security forces in general. You know, everybody that arrested somebody that day during the protest. Essa, SAS, and Mars. I beg no vex. I am not abusing you. I'm also one. Once again, I'm not abusing you. It's just an observation. Let's take a critical look at the peripheral level of this equation together. You are directly affected with the increase in the price of petrol. No, be so on which means that you are also paying more for a bag of rice and beans no be so the price of electricity that went up did it not affect your house or the jump over your house and eh? which is why i was suggesting boya and Irono, because these protesters are fighting for all of us you know not just themselves ah, the people that you should be arresting they are the ones making life tough for you and your family then but you're arresting regular people but you know i cannot blame you completely all the policemen and women because you must to chop you must to get your salary, you know, be so you must switch up just like the Labour Congress and the trade union leaders. Did you guys hear that they suspended the protest? Ah, father. Nigerians were ready to protest the hike in the price of fuel, the hike in the price of electricity. I was ready to fly to Nigeria to protest in front of Buari's window. Only for these union leaders to cancel the protest. Can you imagine? They cancelled it. And once again, Nigerians are talking. You know how they are. Eh? They like to talk. Nigerians are saying that the union leaders must have collected Ghana must go back. Mm -hmm. That is where you put the money. You know what? Well, don't come after me. Essas. <laughs> Essas, we are watching all of you on Plasma TV, all the labor union leaders, you know? We, the young people, we are watching everything on Plasma TV. What is this? Wait, wait a minute. Nigeria has cracks that could lead to a breakup. Vice President of Somalia. Ah, you don't mean it. Is this a joke or something? Is this a joke? <laughs> Esa, in case you are watching Vice President of Simajo, put up a better photo of my father, Jare. Esa, in case you are watching, you know, do well. It's your girl, Adiola. Don't mind. Call it a Esa, are you just waking up? As in, let me move closer. Where have you been, sir? This whole time? You did not see this revelation. Since Boko Haram and herdsmen have been killing people, or when the security forces were killing Biafrans. In fact, Oduduwa Republic have been marching, saying that they also want their own country. It is now that you are suddenly waking up. Ha, ha, ha. Daddy, hey, say that. Oh, by the way, the vice president said there's an urgent need for a Nehemiah in our country, Nigeria, today. Hey, as in to rebuild the wall so that it doesn't crack. <laughs> Daddy, so you're looking for Nehemiah? <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you so much. <laughs> Have you thought about Esther, sir? Benny, as in Esther 414. You know, perhaps you were appointed to be in power for such a time as this. You know what? Never mind, never mind, never mind. Let's just, let's be looking for Nehemiah. Anybody knows where we can find brother Nehemiah? Brother Nehemiah, I think Nigeria needs you. He has ear infection. I think he has ear infection. Anyway, while we're looking for Nehemiah, let's go back to the Independence Day celebration. <laughs> just as I do, please, I just want to beg Nigerians to stop giving this age excuse. I hear people say Nigeria is still young. We need time to get it right. Oh, America is 300 years old. Actually, America is 244 years old. China is 3,000 years old. Like, please, if we we don't get our acts together by the age of 60 what kind of miracle do you think will suddenly happen when we turn 300 we'll just get it right when we turn 300 as in the devil is a liar if we would do well at least we should start seeing some kind of signs yoruba people would say oh, is that what they say <laughs> I'm talking about anyway i'm just trying to say why must we always use examples of countries that are older than us there are so many countries that are not as old as nigeria and they are doing really well my people whatever example we're looking for we will find let's start looking for countries that are not as old as nigeria that are doing better let's aspire to be better because if you cannot tell a 60 year old man that it's okay you can keep messing up you are still young Please, let's stop saying it about our country. Amen, somebody. Once again.
Day and Happy Independence Day to the real Nigerian people. <laughs> Oshé, hardworking, Niger, creative, enduring. Ha! Nigerians can endure. We can adjust to any condition. Ah, fuck it. And we are very beautiful people. No, be so. Oshé, hit me one time. Very beautiful. <laughs> you guys, not know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. Moving on to Togo, ladies and gentlemen. Togo made history last Monday by appointing the first ever female prime minister. Oshé, what, what? As you guys know, the president just forced himself on the people for the fourth time, yeah, this year, you know? So, <laughs> so he was expected to reshuffle his cabinet, which is why the prime minister and his government resigned last week. So the president now appointed the first female ever as the prime minister. And in, no, 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 prime minister doesn't have power in Togo. When it comes to Togo, the president is still the one that calls the shots. But it's refreshing to see a woman for the first time ever. You guys know I'm all about giving women equal opportunity to be in position of power. I'm all about women empowerment. Amen, somebody. But that doesn't mean that we look away when a woman is not doing well. <laughs> because I wasn't sure whether to celebrate when I saw the name of the woman, the woman appointed is 60-year-old Victoria Tomega Dobe, a huge supporter of the same president that the Togolese people have been trying to get rid of through a series of protests for years. As in, for the last 10 years, she was the former minister of grassroots development and youth empowerment, and she was also the chief of staff for the president, Yansi, but the same president that doesn't want to leave. So it's like, why are you appointing the late Abakari as the prime minister? You get it? Okay. So as a minister and as the chief of staff, and as the one handling all the development funds that was coming from the UNDP and the World Bank into Togo, there has been several reports of corruption allegations that Mazam enriched herself with public funds. In fact, there was a time that the picture of the house that she built in her village surfaced on the internet. A vacation house. Oh, so some Togolese people were upset that for a vacation house, she spent a lot of their money on private house. She allegedly became one of the richest ministers in Togo. Togo because she was the one handling all the development funds but people were not saying the developments you get what I'm saying I mean the fact that she has no problem with Nyan Sigbe refusing to leave office after 15 years three times it's five years every time now he's into fourth time despite the fact that his dad was the president for 38 years the fact that she has no problem with that makes it hard for me to celebrate her appointment but please I would love to hear from the people of Togo let me know what you guys think about her appointment you guys don't know much guess what I'm just in a room. Moving on to Rwanda, my people, it is good to be good. Even when you're no more, your legacy would outlive you. And that's something that I wish that African leaders would always keep in mind. Ladies and gentlemen, remember the Rwandan gospel artist, that is Kizito Mihigo, that I featured on this show, who was arrested shortly after releasing a song where he acknowledged that both the Hutus and Tutsis were killed during the genocide? Yes, the one that the government of Rwanda told us that he killed himself in prison. Mm-hmm, yeah. Oh, by the way, it's so ridiculous that, among other things, that they also charged him with conspiracy to assassinate the president. I'm like, wow, wow. Anyway, may his soul continue to rest in peace. But I am so excited that the Human Rights Foundation decided to honor him as one of their Havel Prize laureates. That's incredible! I'm telling you, it is good to be good. This award is not just prestigious. It comes with $38,000, which has been given to his foundation the Kizito Mihigo Peace Foundation, which he founded. The foundation uses art, all forms of art, like music, poems, drama, for peace building activities in order to bring people together. May his soul continue to rest in peace. We're so proud of him. And thank you so much, Human Rights Foundation, for doing this. This means so much. You guys now don't know much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it real. Okay, so this week I got a number of emails, some people trying to order their transcripts from Nigerian school and they were asking me, what is the name of the company that you said can help us? I'm like, it is helpmewaka.com. Amen, somebody. <laughs> I've been talking about Help Me Waka now for months. This is the only company that I know that would help you do anything and everything that you need done in Nigeria, as so long as it's legal. Benny, it has to be legal. Anything legal that you want done in Nigeria from getting your transcript, it doesn't matter the school, they will fish it out. And I'm talking from experience, they have helped people that I know personally. And if you order your transcript and you send it to the World Education Service, 
let them know so that they can do another follow-up <laughs> they also ordered the service of helping you to get the school to confirm your transcript asap so that you're not waiting for months before the school confirms your transcript with the world education service but it's not just getting your transcript if you haven't learned if you need to survey and learn if you have a building project they help you do anything and everything that you need done plus they can deliver groceries to your loved ones in nigeria and because you're hearing about this on my show just put my name Adela as the promo code and they will take five dollars off of whatever you order on helpmewaka.com so don't forget to check them out also i told you guys last week that sendwave is now operating in liberia oh, yes. so if you're from liberia but you live in the u.s now you can send money directly to your loved ones through sendwave don't forget to use my name Adela as promo code before your first transaction they will add five dollars whatever you're sending to your loved ones by the way we finally got to 450,000 subscribers so as it <laughs> it's okay don't laugh at us i know we've been crawling we'll get to 500,000 very soon we are trusting god so that we can have Khalidu on the show on the hot seat so you guys can ask him all kinds of questions so if you're yet to subscribe you're the one that is stopping us from meeting Khalidu we've been trying to meet this guy for years you better press the subscribe button all right y'all it's been real and i'm keeping it right up in here don't forget to follow me on facebook twitter and instagram and if you're yet to subscribe i'm watching you on plasma tv press the subscribe button until next time i'm gonna see you all later out. We are not to be intimidated. Yes. You walk around here, you see policemen and women with their guns. You see security agents with their guns. Yes. And I ask you, where are you when we are being kidnapped? Yes. Where are you when we are being killed? Where are you when Satan is pointing his fingers yes. in our eyes? Where are you when all the bad things are happening in Nigeria? You come out with your guns. You come out standing. You tell us your men. You tell us you're women, but you're just wimps. You are doing nothing. Nigerians are no more safe on the street. Nigerians are no more safe in their houses. Nigerians are not safe anywhere. It is protesters that come out that you come out and intimidate. We will not be intimidated. Yes. No Nigerian is more Nigerian than any Nigerian. That's right.